Okay, hi, I'm Alison Pilling, and this is my spirit guide. His name's Hector the Great Horned Owl. His message for the full moon coming up on November 15th, 2024, he shares the three things to know. <laughs> okay, so, and each time I channel Hector, um, when I bring him into my awareness, I do that through journaling. So if you see me flipping or looking through down at a page, that's just what I'm looking at, my notes from um, our communication together. Okay, so here we go. Hector is perched in a tree and is look at, looking forward to sharing his message. He turns his head towards us to speak. Hector shares, let's be honest, things are feeling a little strange recently. There's an ease to our days that we are unsure whether to trust. It's not typical the months prior, so we are waiting for the next foot to drop, as they say. Have you ever considered that the so-called foot has been dropping a lot recently and it just feels different? Think of all the changes, the shifts in direction due to the shift in focus. That's been the difference. Forward momentum has not stopped to cause a sense of ease, a moment to catch our breath or to minimize our impact on making change happen. This is a full moon to acknowledge how far we have traveled and lean into the excitement of what's to come. The three things to know for this full moon are, number one, keep your head up. Whether traveling slow or fast, it's important to use our awareness. This helps to get our bearings in new and familiar places. It also invites the perspective of, of what is in the horizon. It's safe to look up and encouraged. Number two, become comfortable with being different. All year we have been asking for change, whether it be in our own personal or professional lives. In essence, it's all one life, our life. If we are asking for change and it's now happening, we need to lean into how to be comfortable with this new. Look for things that have made it feel a little easier, lighter per se. Life has a way to adapt into something sustainable until it's time to make the next change. Know you are safe in your different. And number three, when feeling lost, look at nature. Nature has many lessons to share if we are in the mood to learn, especially about growth and making change. Watch how plants change their direction to grow, to face the sun, or wrap itself around obstacles. Observe how animals patterns shift as needed to create a safe, comfortable environment for their young to grow. This is happening all around us. And if we decide to become students of adaptability and growth, it's nothing new. So I hope this full moon provides the ease and comfort through these times of great change. We can find what we're looking for if we take the time to focus. Much love, Hector. Okay, so that is Hector's spirit guide message for the full moon on November 15th, 2024. So the three things to know for this upcoming full moon. And yeah, I share messages from my spirit guide, Hector the Great Horned Owl, weekly, monthly, and on the new and full moons right on this channel. So if you want to check it out, hit subscribe. Also in the video description, I share a link to a wonderful course. If you do want to work on your own intuitive skills 
and you want to learn about channeling different sources of wisdom, this course is offered for my mentor and her spirit guide, Lori Wilson and grandmother. And right now it's offered for free until the end of 2024, at least. So yeah, it's worth a look. Um, then you can, you know, work on your own channeling skills too, if that's something that is of interest to you. Okay, so yeah, I hope you have a great week and enjoy the full moon. And yeah, we'll talk soon.